Good morning. Good morning. I'm taking one for the team today. <laughs> Wearing this jacket out here. I want to thank you, Mike, for those, that kind welcome. And thank you to all of our special guests who are with us today. Isn't it truly inspiring to see, what, what this, what, to see the crowd that we have out here to celebrate this great occasion? You know, the arches, thank, go ahead, go ahead. The arch is uh, 52 years old, and this is the first major renovation since it opened. What a day. How about this weather? I know all of us have our own special story about the arch, and you know, for me, when I came here in 1982, I had to stand in line uh, like everybody else to go up. Well, I, I shouldn't say that. I, I didn't have to stand in line. Um, <laughs> but I got a chance to go up, and uh, little did they know I was very, very claustrophobic. But being the cool cat that I am, I did not let them know that I was afraid to go up in the arch. I did what an experience it was, and I tell you, for everybody that's visiting here today, that is a must when you come here to St. Louis. You know, this project uh, was the result of countless individuals and agencies coming together on behalf of our beloved Gateway Arch. One of those entities is the great state of Missouri. The state of Missouri played a critical role in moving this project forward through the Missouri Department of Transportation. Today, we sit above I-44. Now that truly is a marvel when you think about it. And representing the state of Missouri, we are proud to have Governor Mike Parson with us today. So please help me welcome the Governor of Missouri, the Honorable Mike Parson. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Man, what, what a great day to be in St. Louis and represent the state of Missouri. And it is also pretty cool to be introduced by Ozzy Smith uh, up here today <laughs> on that. What a great guy to be emceeing today. First of all, I just want to thank everyone for coming today and being out to this event. And what a great crowd. And what an honor it is to be the 57th governor of the state of Missouri and to be surrounded by so many honorees and dignitaries that are on the stage today. The Secretary of the Interior from the United States of America is here in St. Louis today to celebrate with us. How about that? And I want to give special thanks to you to the Gateway Arch Park Foundation, the voters in St. Louis City and St. Louis County, and together we have made something very special for the state of Missouri. The Gateway Arch is an icon for Missouri and recognized around the world. The opening of the new Gateway Arch National Park, National, National Park is an incredible milestone for so many people, and it is great for our state. It is so exciting to see 380 million project of renovating the National Park, the St. Louis Riverfront, the Keener Plaza, and the museum at the Gateway Arch completed. Also, I would like to give a special thanks to the Missouri Department of Transportation and Director Patrick McKenna for playing a key role in helping to make this project a reality. And without you, we wouldn't be standing on top of I-44 today for this event. Tourism is one of the top industries in the state of Missouri, and we're excited to continue the supporting in this growth. We must do everything we can to keep tourism strong in Missouri. And I would like to thank all of you here today for your efforts in helping to create this beautiful public plaza and entrance to the incredible Gateway Arch. Thank you. I'm proud and humbled to be the governor of the state of Missouri. Thank you for all being here today. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. Another key stakeholder is the senior senator from Missouri, Claire McCaskill. Senator McCaskill has been a part of this project from the beginning, and she was instrumental in the pursuit of a Tiger Grant and has been with us every step of the way, from the groundbreaking and now today. As we prepare to cut the ribbon, please welcome the Honorable Claire McCaskill. Thank you, everyone. It is terrific to be here. Ten years ago, I got a call from Jack Danforth and Walter Metcalf, and they said, we've got this plan. We want something special to happen around the arch. And that was the beginning, but this went on for years. And I'm so I'm glad that Secretary Zinke is here today. He represents the ninth visit 
by a cabinet level officer to St. Louis in connection with this project. Beginning back in July of 2009, Secretary Salazar made his first of four visits here. And he said this could be a template for the rest of the country to emulate. And we have gotten this done in an extraordinary way. And let me just say, in this day and age, when everyone wants to talk about how government stinks, let me say this is how it's supposed to work. We had incredible, yes, give that a hand for sure. With incredible support from charitable giving of corporate and civic leaders in this community, and very importantly, the Taylor family. From the Taylor family. From the federal government working to clear red tape and to provide funding. The state government doing a magnificent job with the lid. The local governments making everything happen when they needed to. And maybe most importantly, the people of the St. Louis region, both in the city and the county, saying, yeah, we want to tax ourselves a little to make sure we take care of our crown jewel, the arch. That is how this is supposed to work. And I think we have shown the rest of the country how you do it right. And now this will be here for all of our families to enjoy for many, many years to come. And as a beacon to the rest of the world, yes, the world, come to St. Louis, take in a Blues game, see the famous St. Louis Cardinals, but most importantly, come see this arch. Thank you guys very much. Thank you, Senator McCaskill. Like Senator McCaskill, Sen Senator Roy Blount has been a champion of this project. He has worked on initiatives for fund private funding donations into the Treasury and with Senator McCaskill on the official name change of the park. Please welcome the Honorable Roy Blount. Thank you. Thank you, Ozzie. Well, I joined the governor in uh, being excited to be introduced by Ozzie Smith. Uh, and I'm glad to be here today. You know, the national parks are our national treasure. Uh, more, none of those parks are more recognizable than the arch. You could take any number of park pictures you wanted to take, and the one that would be first recognized would be, oh, that is the arch, and here we are today. The second century, second century, of the Park Service, the National Parks, to be a century of public-private partnership. And I think, frankly, initially there was a lot of you at the Park Service, well, that means private and local money and the same kind of decision-making that we always had. But fortunately for us, we had representatives of the Park Service that wanted to understand that that wasn't the way it was going to be if this was going to work here or anywhere else. So Mike Ward, the new superintendent, Cam Shelley, the, Shelley, the regional director, uh, Andy Taylor, Walter Madcalf came together, three secretaries of the interior, Secretary Salazar, Secretary Jewell, and Secretary Zinke, the guy who has to sign the final sign-off on how this all was supposed to work and did work makes a difference, and we are glad you were here today. You know, this spot, this, this spot is absolutely unique. This spot near where the two greatest rivers of America come together, a spot where Pierre Laclede sent Auguste Choteau, who was barely a teenager, to be responsible for building Fort San Carlos and the great French heritage of St. Louis City began, uh, a gateway to what Jefferson called an empire of liberty, but the old courthouse which with the Dred Scott decision showed to everybody that everyone didn't have the liberty that we would envision for Americans to have and still envision for Americans to have. This connection of these two locations, the gateway to the west, uh, the courthouse, the parking now in the city of St. Louis where you don't park in some nondescript parking garage that you could have parked in anywhere in America, but you park in St. Louis, and you walk to the arch and you have a sense of what would have happened here a couple of hundred years ago as the West was really out there to be part of our future. 
It's clear that liberty was, only was not available to everyone it should be, but that continues to be our goal in America. Senator McCaskill and I, Ann Wagner, Congressman Clay, worked together to take the name of this location and put the name on the location that everybody would be looking for when they tried to figure out how to come here. And so welcome to the Gateway Arch National Park. Thank you, Senator Blunt. <clears throat> when you have the largest public-private partnership in the history of the National Park Service and the largest amount of private funding ever into a national park project, you need a partner who is up to the task. The partner came in the form of Gateway Arch Park Foundation, and here to represent the foundation and those private funds that made this project possible is the chairwoman of the Gateway Arch Park Foundation, Ms. Carolyn Kendall Betts. I always knew St. Louis was an incredible city, but today I'm prouder than ever to call it my home. When I was practicing with my friends and family last night, there's one analogy that came to my mind, and that was, I feel like a bride on the morning of her wedding. You look back at all the hard work that went into it, mostly highs, a few lows, but that wonderful team of family, friends, and colleagues that got you to that day. But the most exciting part about that day is what the future holds for that partnership. So only in a city like ours could so many people come together and reimagine, invigorate, and transform the arch and surrounding parks for future generations. As board chairman of the Gateway Arch Park Foundation, I am humbled to stand here today and thank all the amazing donors, small and large, whose immense dedication brought the museum design to reality. While a historic private fundraising campaign provided capital for this project, we would not be here today without our federal, city, and county partners. A most sincere thanks to our federal partners, the National Park Service, Department of Transportation, and Department of the Interior. Thank you to the state of Missouri, whose tax credits approved by the Missouri Development Finance Board created powerful momentum for philanthropic initiatives. And thank you to all the voters in the city of St. Louis and St. Louis County. Your votes and voices created the funds that made City Arch River possible. I also want to extend a special thank you to Mike Ward, Superintendent of the Gateway Arch National Park, and Cam Shawley, Midwest Regional Director of the National Park Service. Cam, congratulations on your new role at Yellowstone. And on behalf of my entire family and many more in the region, we will miss you very much. In 2009, the foundation established its mission to ensure the Gateway Arch, its grounds, neighboring public space, and attractions would be a vital, welcoming, and a well-supported resource for the community. Today, it's astounding to recognize what has been accomplished. We are excited to ensure the Foundation's mission is brought to life and fulfilled for generations to come. Thank you today and enjoy your newly renovated Gateway Arch National Park. Carolyn, on behalf of the community, thank you for your leadership. The private support is tremendous. And so was the public support. And as I mentioned, this is a public-private partnership. Another first that this project can tout is that for the first time in National Park Service history, a local population chose to tax themselves. Yes, you heard me right. We voted to tax ourselves to help pay for this renovation in support of our national park. In 2013, the citizens of St. Louis City and St. Louis County chose to become donors to ensure that this project would happen. This icon represents us and it defines us. And the community answered that call to support in, it in strong measure. Here to represent the voters of St. Louis City and St. Louis County are Mayor of the City of St. Louis and the St. Louis County Executive. Please welcome the Honorable Lyda Krusen and the Honorable Steve Stinger.
Well, thank you, Ozzy. I've always wanted to say that. I'm honored to join the distinguished guests this morning and all of you as we commemorate the stunning renovation and expansion of the Gateway Arch. The Gateway Arch is the monument by which the world recognizes our region, and with good reason. It is the nation's tallest monument and the tallest stainless steel monument in the world. More than that, it stands as a massive artistic and architectural masterpiece. The Gateway Arch and its beautiful park grounds represent the front door to our region, a starting point for the exploration and enjoyment of our entire metropolitan area. This may be a national park, but on a personal level, it feels like ours. The people of our region certainly support the Gateway Arch as a key part of our community. The sales tax, which voters in St. Louis County and the city of St. Louis approved in 2013, funded this remarkable museum and arch grounds renovation and also transformed the trails, greenways, and parks throughout our region. I want to thank the residents of St. Louis County and the residents of the city of St. Louis for supporting this project and ensuring that Gateway Arch National Park will continue to serve as a beacon for visitors from around the world. Again, thank you all very much. Good morning. I know you're warm, right? Yeah, a little warm out there. I'm gonna keep this short. Those are always the best speeches. Uh, it's so exciting to be here today with all of you. It's exciting for our city, it's exciting for our state, and it's exciting for our country. In 1965, when the arch opened, it was a symbol of innovation and ambition. Today, we reaffirm that symbol of innovation and ambition because now we have the new transformed Gateway, National, Gateway Arch National Park reconnecting with our city. This transformation, as you've heard from the other speakers, took place because of the partnerships which took place here. The private sector, government, and most importantly, the voters of St. Louis City and St. Louis County. I think this is an example of what we can do when we come together and we make the big decisions at the city and county level. I also, th thank you for that, I also think when you get inside here, first of all, it'll be cool, but secondly, turn around and look back at this view of our city. I think this will become the postcard from St. Louis. It's an absolutely fabulous connection, and I love being with all of you here today. Thank you very much. Thank you. As many of you know, the Department of the Interior focuses on protecting America's great outdoors and powering our future. In fact, many people referred to one specific branch of the department as America's best idea. That idea is the National Park Service. And here with us today to represent the Department of the Interior is the Secretary of the Interior, Mr. Ryan Zinke. So please welcome the Honorable Ryan Zinke. Well, I'm not from St. Louis, but I tell you, I'm a St. Louis fan because of Ozzy. And uh, if you remember the Golden Gov play in San Diego, that was the best play, I think, in, in the league history thing. Well, well, it's an honor to be with you today, and our park system, I think, is America's best idea. And our park system tells a story, and the story behind me is the arch. And I grew up in Montana, and the Arch always was inspirational because it's a, it represents a visionary city. The city of manifest destiny, of Lewis and Clark. America views the Arch as representing visionary, and it tells a great story of a great city. The second part of the story today is how we got here today. A public-private partnership where people from all sides looked at a vision, and came together to form something unique and something great. You look at where this was just a few years ago with a highway, difficult to get to, and it didn't express the majesty of one of our great sites. 
Today we have a park, and it's, sometimes it's the little things, like allowing a skating rink, like looking at the rules and understanding that our park system is for the benefit and enjoyment of the people. And we need as a park and a government to go back to working for the people. It's and when we do, greatness appears. So on behalf of President Trump, half the administration, thank you very much, St. Louis, for doing something great for America. Thank you and God bless. And as we prepare to cut the ribbon, let's take a look at an exciting video of our community memories of the arch. These photos were collected using the hashtag YourArch over the past few weeks.